the European Parliament and the Council of the European Union have reached a provisional agreement on the Transfer of Funds Regulation TFR, that is to ensure crypto transfers can be traced and that transactions considered suspicious are blocked, potentially paving the way for tougher enforcement by the bill extends Brussels supervision over so-called unhosted wallets, or just regular wallets controlled by their owners, in what many industry representatives call a harmful measure that could hamper the sector's development in Europe. The European Parliament said in a statement that, the agreement extends the so-called travel rule, already existing in traditional finance, to cover transfers in crypto assets. This rule requires that information on the source of the asset and its beneficiary travels with the transaction and is stored on both sides of the transfer. Crypto Assets Service Providers CASPs, will be obliged to provide this information to competent authorities if an investigation is conducted. For the so-called unhosted wallets, the agreement foresees that, if a customer receives or sends more than one euro, 000, 1 US dollar, 044, from such a wallet, the relevant CASP will be required to verify whether the wallet is effectively owned or controlled by the involved customer. The rules do not apply. Industry observers are worried about the regulation's potential impact on the crypto sector. However, Patrick Hansen, head of strategy and business development at Unstoppable Finance, argues that, under the proposal, there won't be a mandatory verification for most transfers from slash to wallets, and for this reason, this key demand, unhosted wallet verification, from the EU Parliament was. As part of the EU's complex legislative process, informal tripartite discussions, also known as trialogues, can end with provisional agreements on the draft legislation by European institutions. These agreements are informal, and they subsequently require to be formally approved by each of the three institutions, the Parliament, the Council, and the European Commission. The latest development comes shortly after the EU unveiled plans to create a dedicated anti-money laundering authority, AMLA, 